everyone welcome to Odisha Post Live this is Baishakhi let's take a look at today's headlines The IMD Friday issued an alert for the heat wave to severe heat wave in the twin cities of Katak and Bhuvaneshwar In its advisory the IMD said that the heat will be tolerable for the general public but it may cause some health concerns for the vulnerable ones infants elderly and sick persons In a bid to beat the heat people should keep themselves hydrated and avoid exposure to heat The capital city of Bhuvaneshwar recorded 44.4 degree Celsius by 2:30 pm today the bjp friday launched massive protest in different parts of odisha alleging frequent power disruptions and unscheduled power cuts tension prevailed in barampur sambalpur and bolanger with bjp activists scuffling with police during their demonstration in front of tata power offices in these regions The Odisha vigilance officials Friday raided the properties of suspended Nayagarh civil supplies officer Vrajendra Kumar Nayak on charges of amassing assets disproportionate to his known sources of income. Currently simultaneous raids are going on at five places linked to Nayak in Bhuvaneshwar and Puri. Conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar has written a letter to Union Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav urging him to accept a donation of rupees 10 crore as a contribution towards victims of the June 2 Odisha train tragedy in which 288 people lost their lives Chandrasekhar who is currently lodged at the Mandoli jail said in the letter written Friday Union Minister of State for External Affairs RK Ranjan Singh's house in Imphal town was vandalized by a mob which also tried to burn it down officials said security guards and firefighters managed to control arson attempts by the mob and save the minister's house from being gutted Thursday night they said The Nehru Memorial Museum and the library named after India's first prime minister Jawaharlal Nehru has been renamed as the Prime Minister's Museum and Library Society. The renaming comes more than a year after the Pradhan Mantri Sangrahalaya or the Prime Minister's Museum was inaugurated at the historic Tin Murti complex where the NMML is housed. Five foreign terrorists were killed in an ongoing encounter at the line of control in Kashmir's Kupwara district officials said today police said the encounter started after joint parties of the army and police received specific input of the presence of terrorists in the area Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lead a yoga session at the UN headquarters in New York June 21 to mark the 9th International Day of Yoga. International Yoga Day is coinciding with the Prime Minister's state visit to the US which is scheduled between June 21 to 25. He has been invited by President Joe Biden. At least two explosions rocked Kyiv on Friday and air raid sirens blared as African leaders began a peace mission hoping to mediate between Ukraine and Russia. The African delegation which includes leader from South Africa, Senegal, the Comoros and Egypt was expected to meet Ukrainian President Zelensky and then hold talks with Russian President Putin in St Petersburg on Saturday. Pope Francis left hospital on Friday after undergoing a hernia operation and headed to the Vatican where his health will be under increasing scrutiny ahead of busy summer. A smiling Francis left the Gemelli Hospital in Rome at 8:45 a.m. in a wheelchair thanking the crowd of well-wishers outside. That's all for the headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live for more such updates.